2017 Ford F-150 Raptor Super Crew. Ford's new super pickup should come with a cape. Highs and lows. Highs. Built to defy physics, seriously quick, impressive ride and refinement, pure badassitude. Lows. Huge size can be a chore in traffic, disappointing engine note, funky shifting 10-speed automatic, long stopping distances. Specifications. Vehicle type. Front engine, rear slash all-wheel drive, 5 passenger, 4 door pickup. Price as tested. $67,660, base price, $52,505. Engine type. Twin turbocharged and intercooled DOSI 24 valve V6, aluminum block and heads, port and direct fuel injection. Displacement. 213 cu in 3496 cubic centimeters power 450 hp at 5000 rpm torque 510 lbft at 3500 rpm transmission 10 speed automatic with manual shifting mode dimensions wheelbase 146.0 in length 231.9 in width 86.3 in height 78.5 in passenger volume 136 cu ford curb weight 5924 pounds c slash d test results 0 to 60 miles per hour 5.1 SEC 0 to 100 miles per hour 13.8 SEC Rolling start 5 to 60 miles per hour 5.8 SEC Top gear 30 to 50 miles per hour 4.2 SEC Top gear 50 to 70 miles per hour 4.0 SEC Standing 1 fourth mile 13.8 SEC at 100 miles per hour. Top speed, Governor Limited 108 miles per hour. Braking, 70 to 0 miles per hour, 212 feet. Road holding, 300 foot Dia skid pad, 0.71 grams. Fuel economy. EPA combined slash city slash highway driving, 16 slash 15 slash 18 mpg c slash d observed 12 mpg there's an odd tranquility inside the 2017 ford f-150 raptor when it has broken free from the chains of gravity that brief moment when your monkey brain realizes the smartphone you left on the console is now hovering next to you we generally wouldn't reflect on this in an ordinary road test because jumping ordinary cars results in a yard sale of debris. But the Raptor has never been ordinary not from the moment it debuted in 2008 and became a cult hit, and especially not in this bolder, more capable second iteration. We've already sampled the new Raptor in California's open desert, where it's fortified, long travel suspension and new 3.0 inch fox internal bypass shocks can be exercised at high speed as ford performance intended we also know from experience with the first gen truck that the new raptors electronic locking rear differential and available torsen limited slip front differential with 4.10 colon 1 gears will let it slog through mud and crawl over rocks but there's only one place in michigan where we could certify the raptors awesomeness on our terms the coastal sand dunes of Silver Lake State Park, on the west side of the mitten. Got sand? The park's 450-acre off-road area is where Ford spent many development hours on the expanses of soft, undulating sand, which can seriously tax a vehicle's chassis, drivetrain, and cooling systems. Here, even the Raptor has to run significantly reduced tire pressures for effective traction. And there are plenty of jumps, from the roller coasters of towering dunes to smaller berms that can hurl three tons of pickup into the air like it was the General Lee. 
The 2017 Raptors 13.0 inches of front suspension travel and 13.9 inches at the rear are modest in the greater off-road world, despite increases of 1.8 and 1.9 inches over its predecessor. But the updated Fox dampers are masterful within that range, ever more deft at soaking up smaller bumps as speeds climb yet able to absorb the truck's full girth falling from the heavens. After we scoped out the perfect dune for a smooth, shallow slope and a gently angled landing area, the Raptor dropped jaws as it launched through the sky in lazy arcs before landing in a cushioned pump, its trick hydraulic bump stops guarding the chassis against crashing into the earth. What pictures don't convey about our menacing shadow black test truck is its sheer size. The new swollen fender design may be more effective than the originals at masking the Raptor's lane clogging width, but this full four-door supercrew has a limo-like cabin stretching 11.9 inches longer than the extended cab supercab version, both models share a 5.5-foot cargo box. Measuring more than 19 feet long, 231.9 inches, with a beam 6.4 inches broader than a regular F-150S, 86.3 inches, the Raptor is a Peter built next to a Toyota Tacoma. Our 5924 pound example is a significant 360 pounds lighter than the previous Raptor, thanks mostly to the new aluminum bodywork, but it still has about 450 pounds on a similar 2017 F-150. Fun fact, the Raptor fits in an automatic car wash. The rabbit fandom ignited by the original Raptor which we saw in the wildly modified F-150S prowling Silver Lake at high speed moved Ford's engineers to build upon its foundation while better integrating the entire package. There continue to be massive control arms and coil springs in front, a leaf sprung solid axle out back, and 17 inch forged aluminum bead lock capable wheels with huge Pfkudrich all-terrain T-AKO2 tires, sized 315-70. Ford also broadened the scope of the Raptor's four-wheel drive transfer case, it still can lock the axles together in normal and low ranges but adds an integrated clutch for improved fore-aft torque shifts when in all-wheel drive mode, which is most effective on the street, where the BFG tires struggle for grip. The new Raptor benefits even more from the greater refinement of the latest F-150 both share a 2017 10BEST truck and SUV award along with vastly improved structural rigidity and ride quality. Where the old truck used to shake, jiggle, and clomp off-road, the 2017 version feels supple and smooth, its body calm and level as the suspension dances over washboard terrain at highway speeds. More important, the Raptor performs these feats with all the drama of a trip to 7-Eleven, so you needn't have run the Baja 1000 to get the most out of it, although you could with minimal modifications. Just be mindful that you can high center this extra long Ford on hilltops, despite 11.5 inches of ground clearance, and its 30 degree approach angle is shallow enough to scuff the nose on steep takeoffs. High Tech Roughneck We've lamented Ford's decision to go V6 only with the new Raptor. Its muted, synthesized hum makes us think of the Incredible Hulk as voiced by Charlize Theron. But Ford's high output, twin-turbo 3.5-liter V6 atones for its thinner voice with brute force, delivering massive and immediate thrust pretty much anywhere. With 450 horsepower at 5,000 RPM and 510 lbft of torque at 3,500, the Raptor was one of the quickest pickups we've ever tested, bolting to 60 miles per hour in 5.1 seconds and covering the quarter mile in 13.8 at 100 mph certifiably swift and a significant 1.5 and 1.4 seconds, and 8 miles per hour quicker than the old crew cab Raptor with a 411 HP 6.2 liter V8. Ford's new 10-speed automatic transmission, CO developed with General Motors, links the engine with the Raptor's advanced suite of chassis electronics. A rocker switch on the steering wheel toggles through six driving modes, normal, sport, weather, mud slash sand, Baja, rock crawl. The mud-slash-sand setting we used at Silver Lake, for example, put the Raptor in four-wheel drive, 
lock the rear differential, sharpen the action from the engine and gearbox, lighten the electrically assisted steering, and dialed back the stability control intervention, which we ultimately fully deactivated. While the 10 speed usually toils away smoothly to keep the turbocharged V6 on boil, during our off-road excursions it frequently slurred shifts as if it were a CVT. Sport mode was our preferred setting on the street because it firmed and hastened gear changes and minimized the initial lag from the engine. While throttle response is excellent in Baja and sport modes, the 10 speed sometimes can be reluctant to upshift and can stumble for gears when pressed with rapid throttle inputs. You can't miss the massive paddle shifters behind the steering wheel, but they simply aren't responsive enough to help with managing all those ratios yourself. Once a driver has acclimated to the way frenzied motorists dive out of the truck's path when its huge Ford grill fills their rearview mirrors, the Raptor is quite impressive on the road. The front sport seats are supportive and firm, and the steering action is precise if numbed by the big tires. While our sound meter showed the Raptor to be notably louder at full throttle than a standard F-150 with the 3.5-liter Ecobus 6, 79 decibels to the regular truck 73, it was only slightly noisier at a 70 mph cruise. Lateral grip is unsurprisingly low at 71 centimos. But the extra wide stance affords great stability in all situations, and the soft suspension still maintains solid control over extreme body motions. Bombing down a twisty back road is not only possible but entertaining in the way a monster truck would be on an auto cross course. Raptor don't care if you clip an apex too tight or run onto the shoulder. Stopping performance, however, is severely hampered by the chunky rubber and limited space for brakes within the 17-inch wheels, which are completely packed with 13.8-inch front rotors gripped by two piston calipers and single piston, 13.7-inchers in back. Our truck's two 12-foot stop from 70 miles per hour was 37 feet longer than a comparable 2017 F-150S and faded to 225 feet by the fourth consecutive stop. And it's best not to think about fuel economy, the EPA rates the Super Crew at 15 mpg city and 18 highway, but we could manage only 12 mpg over 1,300 miles, our time playing in the sand was removed from our fuel calculations. Fortunately, the crew cab's tank holds 36 gallons of fuel versus the super cab's 26. The hero you want. Beneath the Raptor's brash exterior still exists a Ford F-150. Our super crew had a cavernous and highly functional 136 cubic feet of interior space, could tow up to 8,000 pounds, and came with loads of standard equipment, lead lighting front and rear, heavy-duty aluminum side steps and underbody skid plates, a full-size spare tire, a towing package with Ford's dynamic hitch assist, a leather-wrapped sport steering wheel, an 8.0-inch touchscreen, and a panel of upfitter switches for accessories. The dizzying array of controls across the Raptor's steering wheel, dashboard, and ceiling can be overwhelming at first. Value is another fundamental Raptor trait that carries over to the 2017 truck. The smaller Super Cab version is available from an entirely reasonable $49,520. Our Super Crew started at $52,505 before climbing to $67,660 with a host of extras, opting for additional kit can push that figure well beyond $70,000 but we'd be fine with even fewer options than on our test truck, which were highlighted by the extensive $9,345.802A equipment group, the Torsen front diff, Sync 3 infotainment with navigation, dual zone automatic climate control, leather upholstery, 10-way adjustable heated and ventilated front seats, pro trailer backup assist, and a ton more, the $1,950 Raptor technology package, Lane Departure Warning, Lane Keeping Assist, Adaptive Cruise Control with Automated Emergency Braking, Rain Sensing, Wipers, and Auto High Beams, a $1,295 Panoramic Sunroof, $1,165 for the forged 17-inch wheels, 
and a $750 interior color accent package, orange accents on the seats and doors and aluminum trim on the dash. Every 2017 F-150 Raptor also comes equipped with a sense of power and invincibility that can turn even the most stoic adult into a squealing kid. It is the fastest way we know of to degrade socially acceptable driving behavior, and we love it. Until another manufacturer steps up with a proper challenger we're looking at you, Ram the Raptor offers three-dimensional fun that no earthbound high-performance vehicle can match.